Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode of Blind Buys. I really do have some wonderful viewers and some wonderful subscribers, and I really can't express how thankful I am to you all. You guys have really been killing it with suggestions lately. You can see some of them behind me. There's more coming up. Most notably, Blue Electric has been asked for uh, multiple times, so we're going to get that going here pretty soon. But this is not a viewer-suggested unboxing. This one's kind of for me and kind of for you at the same time. It's going to make sense in a minute here. I bought this for myself because, really, I like limited edition things, but mostly because of the way the bottles are. Each one of these bottles is hand-painted. They're all unique. So that means even though the juice is the same, there is only one of this bottle. It is from a series, so that it has brothers and sisters, but this is the only one that looks like this. So the idea is to give back to you guys, I also would like to paint some bottles and give them to you guys at notable subscriber marks. Although my intention was to do 250, 500, 750, and on and on. But I think we might fly past 250 and, you know, we're just kind of ha going to have to ad lib and just make it up as we go, which is fun anyways. So what I'm going to do is derive some inspiration from this and get my stepping on, get some paints and stuff, some non-oil paints. I like to do oil on canvas. Um, I'm not good. I don't claim to be good. I just like having fun. But I need to get some acrylic enamel paints, and I'm going to be painting these Donald Trump empires, which I don't think anybody actually wants for the smell, but for the art, hopefully you guys can appreciate it. So without blabbering on anymore, we're going to go ahead and open this one and try to not smash it like we smashed the bond number nine. Anyways, easy sleeve, gotta like that. And... Get her up there. Apparently there's 2,000 of these. Although the marking has either rubbed off or never was there on this one. There's not a lot of videos about this. And I saw, I think, one where somebody actually did have the numbering on the, on the cover and the other ones did not. So, yeah, you know, 50-50 on whether or not. But that being said, counterfeitable. No, no, nah, this is not counterfeitable. Um, there's a good list of ingredients there. We won't drive, drive right into that right off the bat. So let's give you guys the actual first look. <laughs> I'm tilting it pretty far back. Hopefully it gives you guys a good angle, but, um, oh, what's going on here? So we've got your artistic bookmark for Oh, that's right. It comes with a uh, a painted, or not painted. This looks like it was printed on cardstock. Yeah, printed. A, a bookmark. I don't read a lot, but uh, when I do, you know, I don't think I'm going to use my nice Martine Mikulef bookmark. Uh, nice little, uh, possibly certificado of authenticado. And look at that bottle. I'm, I'm so scared. I'm holding it in. I, f I love that. That's so cool. That is awesome. I'm very into this bottle. So super rare, kind of expensive. Also no numbering on the sides. I'm so scared. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> um, boy, these, this is a, a super presentation and interesting note. I thought these little collars, these little collars were part of the cap. Fake out. Nope. They're Judy Standish. So we'll do some main accords real fast. We've got woody, musky, mossy, earthy, powdery, ozonic, citrus, leather, violet. What does this smell like? I have no idea. Boy, that's a heavy cap. Jeez. Oh, oh basically facing the right way. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you, Martine. That's like two degrees. Yeah, we'll give that one to you. All right, 
let's get this on. Nothing on the first. Two. Third should do. Third shot's a little hot. Fourth for the fully. Big one. There we go. Okay. Hmm. ourselves one more shot there right off the bat um yep a little woody uh but more so off the initial spray it was kind of floral not so much woody but oh wow boy that smells upscale Jeez. Okay, let's get some sort of notes going, guys, so we're not just kind of... We've got bergamot, tangerine, and star anise on the top. In the middle, we've got violet, violet leaf, cashmere wood, and nutmeg. And in the base, we've got moss, leather, patchouli, and musk. So not too much going on, but there is a lot going on in here. I hate to bury my nose into it, but... I would say it's not the most projective. It's not super loud. Um, test strips are in the mail, guys. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of failing at this one, but we'll have some test strips here coming right up and we'll just drive those right into our faces too. That'll be fun. But geez, this is, this is, this is really nice. You kind of, you gotta, you gotta give it up to them. Get a better thumbnail. There we go. Just the innovation, the just the concept is really just, in my eyes, just very, very smart. It's, it's, the, it's the melding of art and perfumery. And perfumery is already art, so when you add artistic talent on top of it or lack thereof then it just melds perfectly together so the violet definitely comes through it's very much there it's probably more prominent than anything else i would say but very smooth and soft the cashmere wood um you know, it says wood, but, you know, it's just kind of, it, you know, that's probably not what cashmere wood is supposed to smell like, but it smells like, you know, just a soft, clean blanket. It's just so, it, it's like a, it's like one of those fleece blankets um, from the 90s, those shiny fleece blankets, like straight out of a, straight out of a, a warm dryer, tumble dryer kind of thing, you know? Just the vaguest of, of floral. Kind of want to pop a little more on there. Get a get a good base. I've got some stuff to do. I really should be stepping, but I figured I would stop and do a quick opening. That's not so quick. It's standard time um, before I head out. Concert season starts this week, so that should be fun. Um, but really, I'm just kind of excited to, uh, wear some new stinks more, more so than anything and just kind of wear them out in different environments and in different situations and weather and that all kind of thing. Um, it's probably going to rain. Anyhow. Yeah, not, but it's just not that strong. Okay, so it's not, I can, I guess I can sort of see why nobody really talked about this. Nobody bought this and was like, oh, mind-blowing strength. It's kind of like a, kind of a niche thing, it seems like, in my very limited experience. Niche fragrances aren't very boastful, it seems. Um, but anyways, guys, before we drag this on too long, we will get some test strips in. We will wear this for a week and check us out on the other side of the waterfall 
and we'll figure all the rest of that stuff out. So thanks guys. Okay folks, we've worn this for seven days. I really didn't want to stop wearing this because I really do enjoy it. It is something special. So it took me a little bit longer and I'm sorry for the delay, but I like to be thorough and there's no point in rushing through things, is there? The faster we go, the faster I get through the collection, but the less thorough we are and the less authentic it becomes. So, um, for batch code, I don't know. There isn't one on the bottle. You can see on the bottom, it's just, there's like a, a stamp, like a um, printing stamp. Um, I assume it might be the mold number. It's just like a seven. I don't think there is a batch code. I don't think it really matters. There's only 2,000 of them. They were made in 2020. And um, yeah, that's all there really is to it. It's not like there's going to be different variations batch to batch. It is the batch. That's it. Housekeeping. I got this off of FragranceNet for $146.39. It's a 3.4 ounce bottle, and that works out to $43.05 an ounce which is above designer, getting into niche, but not crazy expensive at the time I bought it. Um, I did check before filming this. There are four left on FragranceNet, and they're going for $153 with the 37% uh, discount code. This is not an advertisement for FragranceNet. I'm giving them this one for free. Otherwise, they can go screw themselves. Um, projection. Uh, you know, I got six to seven out of 10. I think it really does good. Um, you actually kind of go agnosmic to it pretty quick because it actually is pretty strong. You know, this is two, three sprays, tops. You're not going to want to go crazy. Uh, you know, not just because it is expensive and it's super rare, limited supply, but just because you don't need to. Like, um, but I thought the atomizer was pretty good overall, not too horrible. That was a really nice spray. These caps are super nice and the collars actually give you something to grip onto, but I digress. Let's get into longevity. I got eight to 10 on skin, 16 plus, maybe even a day on your clothing. This really is a well-formulated product. I really gotta say, super good. So, well, not, Okay, sorry, not super good. It's not Elixir, you know, 16. My notebook is finally calming down with the Elixir smell. When did I even do that video? It was like two or three months ago, something like that. So that's forever. This is, you know, somewhere between um, a long time and forever. Um, ah, it just smells beautiful. Uh, you're really, it's really a violet, woody kind of scent it's a violet based um ah shiz hold on one second we're back so this is what it smells like if you can find these candies i think they're really tasty most people probably won't but that right there that's what this smells like for you know a good 20 minutes and actually throughout the day and into the evening the violet really sticks with the base notes this is a violet scent and although it is a violet scent it's a man scent it's not for women you have to have the chutzpah to walk around smelling like violet and you have to be able to back this up Otherwise, you know, I don't know. It's just going to be weird if you're walking around kind of like, you know, oh, it's going like... but anyways, um, you back it up. This is a wonderful smell. The violet is different than everybody else. You are going to stand out just because I don't think there's a lot of violet based scents and, you know, not... Not a lot of people even want to wear that. Um, you know, this isn't a situation where I say, 
I don't know why you would want to, because I very much want to wear this. I very much like the smell of violet, and I love walking around smelling like this. Doesn't bother me one bit. So, you know, why would you want to wear it? Because it smells damn good. Um, that being said, um, it sort of reminds me of John Varvatos Vintage. They don't smell the same. If you put one up right next to the other on strips, I did get strips, by the way, guys. Thank you for the suggestion. I forget who told me to do that. Multiple people have actually said get strips, I do believe. So thank you to you guys. We're making this better as we go along. Um, but side by side on strips, they smell different, clearly, but they are in the same vein. Um, the Varvados Vintage has a very, um, uh, a very notable rhubarb note, for lack of a better term. Um, everybody knows about it. And it has that bright rhubarb kind of top, but with like sort of a spicy leathery mid in there as well. And this does sort of the same thing because it, instead of rhubarb, it's got that bright pronounced violet as opposed to bright pronounced rhubarb. And then it does um, sort of a spicy kind of thing with the nutmeg that's lurking around there in the middle. And then they do actually deviate down the paths. Um, this actually ends up smelling like um, Purple Label and Bleecker Street, which we had just gone through. And although I did say I was burnt out and sick of that scent, as it turns out, I'm not. I'm just burnt out on those ones because I don't actually think they're all that wonderful. They're good for what they are. They're not amazing and not really all that stellar. They're definitely a sample before buy. But this does that woody oak moss kind of base just a thousand times better. And I'm not saying this because this is an expensive product. I'm not ashamed or afraid to rip into things that bond number nine was, you know, a hundred plus dollars for 50 ml. This is right around that same price. Bond number nine is lackluster in comparison. And decent, it fills the vein, this sits in the same void, and this is actually a million times better. Um, in the mid, I did find that it was a little bit soapy, um, but quite dissimilar to things like Prada Loam. It's not offensively soapy. It's not like hand washy, like, like straight out of the, you know, thing. So not that Prada Loam or any others are, you know, that offensively soapy themselves, but this does have a little bit of the, that soap in the mid, but it's not bad. It's tolerable and it kind of works with the non-linear way that this evolves. Um, that being said, guys, um, I can't say that you should buy this because very soon you're going to have a hard time even being able to. Um, not because I'm special and actually selling bottles or anything like that, but just because things do eventually sell out. There's only so many that of these that got made. And um, I don't think you should run out and buy this because anybody said to buy it. Certainly not because I said to buy it. I'm an idiot, not an expert. Remember that, guys. But um, simply because you shouldn't buy things that you know, don't really pique your interest. If, you, if you're if you not into a violent scent, then this really isn't going to be for you. If you don't know what these smell like, if you don't know what violet smells like and you open this, there's a good chance you're going to be disappointed, despite the fact that I think this is an actual masterpiece. I really do think this is amazing. I think it's a wonderful scent, 
and anybody who knows what they're getting into, anybody who has tempered their expectations, and anybody who, let's face it, has the disposable income, then yeah, I think just because of the fact that it is art in a bottle, on the bottle, yeah, this is a good product. This is an amazing product. Big, big shouts out to Martin Mikalev. Mikalev. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your name a billion times, madam. Um, but yeah, also not a sponsor. I bought this with my own cash. I got to say that. And I always will buy everything with my own cash. If anybody sends me anything, I'm going to rip them apart all the same. That being said, let's wrap this up. I do have another Mikalef. Uh This is Art Collection. I believe it's 2022. And I believe the theme is Kuwait. There, it's, in a, it's a limited run. It's not individually painted um, like this, although I do believe they are hand painted. And I think it's the same fragrance as in this bottle, but there's only one way we're ever gonna be sure. So if you guys want me to open this, please let me know in the comments, hit me up on the community posts or anything else like that. Uh, I'd love to engage with you guys. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I'm trying to figure out how to figure out, uh, trying to figure out how to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how to best do suggestions fairly. I think we came to a good solution. We're gonna test drive it, see how it works. And as always, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop. You're part of the, the equation as well. I want to hear from you guys, okay? So that being said, guys, find something that's as unique as you are, wear it unabashedly. Until I see you, talk to you, or anything else, take it easy. Thanks, guys.